Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanelungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanelungu, and on this channel, we post uh reaction videos each and every day other than reaction videos we've got a second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 you can head there and check out the content that we post and click the like button subscribe and just enjoy the content we also have a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and you can find us on itunes spotify and on this channel as well and you can find a visual on our second youtube channel funny and jesse 2.0 and on patreon as well as Funny and Jesse's social media as well, Funny and Jesse to everything that I mentioned. You can go to the description and you'll find everything else that we do. Um, a big shout out to everyone that's been subscribing, uh, liking, commenting, sharing. You guys are the best. Thank you very much. And thank you for those guys that go further by actually um, requesting something. Thank you very much. So today, as you can tell from the title, I'll be reacting to the 10. 10 surprising similarities between Jesus and Muhammad. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. On this channel, we've talked about Jesus in Islam and Christianity and Prophet Muhammad in Islam, as well as even the differences between Jesus and Muhammad. However, in this episode, we're going to be exploring 10 surprising similarities with the Prophet Muhammad and Jesus. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton. And for this episode, just want to clarify that based on the Christian perspective, that's how I'm going to be describing Jesus, not from the Islamic perspective. And of course, Prophet Muhammad will be described from the Islamic perspective. So that's how we're going to do this episode. So hopefully that clears up any confusion that may happen as you guys watch this episode. In any case, so let's just jump into this one. The prophethood. So Jesus was referred to and seen as a prophet. You can find a reference to that in the book of Acts chapter 3 verses 22 and 26. And it says, For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all sayings whatsoever he shall say unto you. Unto you first, God having raised up his son, Jesus, sent him to bless you in turning away everyone from his iniquities. So those scriptures talk about that there was a prophecy of a prophet that was coming and the Bible clarifies that that's actually talking about Jesus. Also in the book of Mark chapter six and three, the Bible says, isn't this the carpenter? Isn't this Mary's son and the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? Aren't his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own hometown, among his relatives and his own home. And then, of course, when it comes to the prophet Muhammad, he is seen as the final prophet that God is going to send into the world. He's a prophet that God shared the words of the Quran with. And he's seen and revered by Muslims as the last prophet. There's none that's going to be coming after him. Whatever Muhammad said, that was the final message that God needed to send to the world. And that there is, of course, one of the fundamental beliefs of the entire religion of Islam. The next similarity that they have is that they both descended from Abraham. Jesus' mother, Mary's lineage goes all the way back to the prophet Jacob, then to Isaac. And of course, Isaac was the son of Abraham. And the prophet Muhammad, he descended from Ishmael, who was also a son of Abraham. Isaac and Ishmael, they were both brothers. And as you can see, both Jesus and Muhammad literally trace back to the same person. They also interacted with angels. So the prophet Muhammad, his revelation was of course evident and it's described in the entire religion of Islam as taking place in 610 AD, during which the Islamic prophet Muhammad was visited by the archangel Jibril, who's known as Gabriel, of course, if you translate it to English. And that was the starting point of when the words of the Quran were revealed to him. Also, another big interaction that the Prophet Muhammad had was when the angel Jibril shook him one night to wake him up. And then he took the Prophet Muhammad on what is known as the night journey through the seven heavens. Now, when it comes to Jesus in the book of Matthew chapter 4 and 11, it says, Then the devil left him and behold, angels came and were ministering to him. Also in Luke 22 verses 43, we find a similar passage in the Bible. It says, then an angel from heaven appeared to him and gave him strength. So you can see both of them had like physical, real interactions 
with angels. Now I know the belief in angels are in both religions, Islam and Christianity, and even in uh, Judaism and many other belief systems. And for the most part, angels are good based on all the different beliefs. But I'm just saying, I don't know what I'll do if I saw one. The Prophet Ooh. Muhammad and Jesus also shared another similarity in that they were poor. Now, Prophet Muhammad was born around 570 AD in Mecca, in, now in Saudi Arabia, and his father died before he was born, and he was raised first by his grandfather and then by his uncle. And he belonged to a poor family, yet they were very respectable, and his tribe was the the Koresh tribe. We also see Jesus being poor as well. So in the Bible, when Mary and Joseph, they offered two pigeons at the temple sacrifice for Mary's purification, and that's found in Luke chapter two, verses 22 to 24. It actually indicates something that we see in the Old Testament. In Leviticus 12, verses seven to eight in the Old Testament, it says that the usual sacrifice at the time of circumcision, by the way, this event was when Jesus was being circumcised on his eighth day after being born. The regular sacrifice was to be a lamb, but Mary clearly they couldn't afford a lamb at the time. So based on the law, they were to take two turtle doves or two pigeons. So when we fast down to the New Testament, we can see that this is happening. So they couldn't afford the lamb, indicating the economic status of Jesus' parents at the time. The next similarity we want to look at is kindness and charity. Both Jesus and the Prophet Muhammad were known for their kindness and their charity. There's a famous parable that Jesus told known as the Good Samaritan. And one of the message of the parables is that people are to help one another when they see the need, as well as when they have the ability to do so and to do it with kindness. So Jesus also emphasized forgiveness. Now he had once saved a woman from being stoned to death. And instead of condemning her like the other religious leaders did, he simply said to her that he doesn't condemn her and she should just go her way and don't sin anymore. There are also many stories of the Prophet Muhammad showing kindness as well. And one of these stories is known as the rubbish thrower. I, I found this really, really, really fascinating. It's about this old woman and she was really angry because the Prophet Muhammad was such a peaceful guy, he had like a very peaceful personality. So on a regular basis, she literally would throw garbage at him to try to get him angry. So the Prophet Muhammad though, he never got mad at her and eventually she became sick and when the Prophet Muhammad heard, he actually went out to help her and didn't even hold any animosity in his heart and seeing how he treated her, she eventually ended up accepting Islam. All right guys, so we took a look at five similarities between the Prophet Muhammad and Jesus. We got five more to go, but before we get into those, make sure to hit that like button on this video if you're enjoying it so far, if you love learning here on FTD Facts, it really helps our videos and it lets more people see them. And also, if this is your first time here to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button or ring that bell because we bring you videos daily like this, but not just topics on religion. We talk about countries, cultures, and people from all around the world. So if any of those topics interest you, be sure to tune in here to FTD Facts every single day. All right, so let's get into the last five similarities. Let's see what we got at number five. Well, they both taught that this life is temporary. Like the possessions that we get in this life is completely temporary. They're not gonna last forever. So both the Prophet Muhammad and Jesus, they contrasted the everlasting value of spiritual things against temporary natures of material things. You can find in chapter 17 of the Quran that shows that, you know, it's human nature to prefer the material world over the spiritual, despite the spiritual both being better and permanent. And the Prophet Muhammad taught that people should work towards spiritual pursuits, such as the love of God, as well as just being good people, being kind to one another, rather than working towards riches and individual success. Now, Jesus also taught a similar concept. He emphasized that people should not lay up for themselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy things, but to lay treasures up in heaven. So build heavenly wealth over physical material wealth. And by the way, neither the Prophet Muhammad or Jesus advocated that being wealthy is a bad thing. Of course, go out there and build your wealth. It's just that the primary focus should be heavenly and eternal things, and that should have priority over material things. There's another similarity in their teachings of heaven and hell. So Jesus and Muhammad, they both taught of the afterlife and that the actions and beliefs on earth will affect 
what happens after. Prophet Muhammad taught that on the last day, the world will be destroyed and God will raise all the people up from the dead to be judged for their deeds. And those who served God and were good, they go to paradise and the evil ones, they're sent to hell. And Jesus had a similar teaching as well. He taught that the evil people would go away to eternal punishment and the righteous people would be given eternal life. It's also a common belief that they taught a literal physical heaven and a literal physical hell as well. Similarity Ooh. number three is that they both valued peace. So one of the most popular teachings of Jesus is about peace. And he said to love your enemies. And you can find that in the book of Luke chapter six, verses 35 in the New Testament of the Bible. But not only to love your enemies, but to pray for them and treat them well. And now before his crucifixion in the Bible, Jesus even healed a man's ear that was cut off. And this guy actually came to arrest Jesus. Like he was an enemy of him. And he was like, I'm gonna heal your ear and healed it. And when it comes to the prophet Muhammad, he also taught to repel evil with good. And he who is your enemy will become your dearest friend. Although the Prophet Muhammad did lead attacks on his enemies, these were defensive in nature. And he taught that if one's enemies leave you alone, refrain from fighting you and offer you peace, then God gives you no way to go against them. Similarity number two is they loved one God. They both taught that there's only one God and that this one God should be loved. In the book of Mark chapter 12 verses 29, Jesus was asked what commandment was the most important. And he responded and said, the most important one is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Also in the book of Luke chapter 10, verses 25 to 28, Jesus was asked what it takes to inherit eternal life. And he said to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. Now, when it comes to the prophet Muhammad in chapter 112 of the Quran, it says that God was not born, nor does he give birth and nothing is like him. This is a fundamental belief in Islam. Even the name Islam even means submission, you know, submission to the will of God. And the final similarity between the Prophet Muhammad and Jesus is that they embodied their faith. Jesus taught mercy and he showed it to others. He taught righteousness and he showed it himself. And in the end, after preaching the value of peace, he surrendered his life. Now the Prophet Muhammad, he prayed as he taught others to pray and he believed as he taught others to believe and he lived as he taught others to live. He was a man who lived a very simple life and he was very humble despite his great status as a religious leader and also whatever differences that the Prophet Muhammad and Jesus had, both of them were very consistent in the way that they chose to live their lives embodying their faiths completely, leaving a template for Muslims and Christians respectively to follow. All right guys, so that was a look at 10 surprising similarities between Jesus and the prophet Muhammad. There was actually quite a bit, but I only could narrow it down to 10 in this episode. And definitely sound off down below in the comments section. Let me know all your thoughts and comments about anything that I shared in this episode or any other additional information that you have. We also do videos by request. So if you have a topic that you wanna see us cover here on FTD Facts, leave that down below as well. All right guys, so I'm gonna get out of here, but before I do that, a reminder that my social media links are below in the video description section, and I'll leave you with a recommended episode coming up at the end screen. I'm getting out of here. I've said a lot. I gotta go drink some water. All right guys, I'll see you next time. Whew, that was fun. That was fun. very very interesting video i always say before i even get to what i always say number nine really has me shook so so is it safe to say that the relatives to some extent or maybe are they relatives or not anyway otherwise i wanted to say um at the end of the day it's always the similarities that we should we should look for in every situation here we have facts that um show what both um uh, men stood for and it was actually interesting to um listen to this a big shout out to people that keep on suggesting things for us to react to you guys are the best and 
thank you very much i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did if there's any other facts or similarities that you guys know you can let us know in the comment section below and if there's any video that you want us to react to on similarities again let us know in the comment section by dropping us a link or a title and thank you for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video